Say good morning. Oh, looking. Come down. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Yay. vlog so today is another normal day as normal as normal is these days where I'm gonna drop Mia off at Lake Scully I'm just gonna get masked up and everything while I'm talking to you so I'm gonna drop her at Lake Scully and then I'm gonna go back home and see if Pabby's going to work because he has a sore throat oh this is annoying around glasses okay he has a sore throat and at the moment that's quite normal in Iceland to have a cold or a sore throat or the snivels or whatever but obviously with Covid and everything happening around that no one is taking any chances and obviously you don't want to be going anywhere and actually having a cold or any sort of symptoms so he is off at the moment when he's home he's in my office because I work from home and it is quite disruptive as much as I love the man he is not the easiest of patients oh my goodness what has mommy done here <laughs> it's like I've lost some fingers um yeah so looking after him is just one of my favorite chores in life you know yes Mia you get to go and play all day maybe make some Christmas decorations they were making postcards the other day which would be great if we could get one of them to send to to Gran as you can see it's minus eight it is pretty cold it's definitely cold season so that doesn't help with all the other symptoms and everything else that's going on right now and everyone worrying and being anxious in general but we're going to try and get on with our normal daily life and get some sh done Viking has said that I think he's going to stay off work today and rest his head and throat and whatever else. I am going to take a little drive around with you just to show you some of the fairy lights because the sun is kind of starting to come up. It's nine o'clock now. I headed to the bakery for all of his requests but they don't have everything in that he wants yet so I'm going to take a drive around and show you things and then we'll head back to the bakery and then I'll head home for some coffee. Guys, I've got a good house for you. <laughs> this is brilliant! This is like striking gold. Oh my goodness, the competition. Are you ready? Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and park and show you. This is amazing. Whoa! This is how I imagine America to be. Oh my goodness! I am bringing Mia and the Viking back for this. I took some petrol after I dropped Mia and I've been driving around to try and find some Christmas lights because this just brings me so much joy. Seeing fairy lights all over buildings, I love it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me along this street that I have just driven to like some crazy magpie drawn to Christmassy fairy light designs all over buildings. And I literally saw this. I think I'm in Kopavogar, which is kind of near where the Viking works but he's not going to work today so as he is being ill in the house which is kind of open plan and when you work from home that basically means that he's been being ill in my office so I'm just gonna stay out of the house <laughs> I'm gonna be a good nurse and look after him but there's an extent <laughs> <laughs> love that you can give someone who's just full of snot especially in covid times and you don't want to get sick yourself so i'm giving him space and i'm taking you guys along christmas lane this is so cool isn't it 
It looks so Icelandic as well. Right, I'm going to try and find the street name and put it on the screen so that if you are in Reykjavik and you also enjoy <laughs> this amount of fairy light joy, then you can come and check it out. <laughs> I don't think you appreciate how cold that was. Oh my goodness. This is not the day to be wandering around looking at Christmas lights outside with no gloves on. <laughs> Seat warmer, steering wheel warmer, every bit of heating on. Let's do this. Right, the Viking is ill today, but in his lovely man flu state. <laughs> He's gonna tell you something. He's just found out about the traditions here in Iceland. And if any children are watching, cover their ears. But there are here are 13 Santas in Iceland. And he's gonna tell you a little bit of information he found out about them today. So, all throughout my childhood, I never knew this, but apparently, on so, in some homes, the Yule Lads or Santa Clauses will actually bring specific gifts by each Santa Claus. So usually it's that candle bagger, he's always trying to bag for candles, he will show up and if there is a candle in his shoe, in the shoe in the window, he will leave the biggest gift of them all because he's very grateful for getting the candle. And in some cases, it's even been known that the children get pajamas. For those of you who haven't watched our videos before and know any of the traditions of Christmas in Iceland, there's 13 Yule lads, which are like Christmas elves? Santas? Yeah. And I thought that they brought items to make up the Christmas outfit for Christmas Day. No. You're basically supposed to leave out your shoe in the window, like you would put your stocking in. The UK and you get a present each morning leading up to Christmas yeah and you only get the present if you've been good yeah if you've been bad it has been ranging in severity how bad you have been but sometimes it's a potato yeah for the naughty children and the worst they get and I've heard of instances where uh, <laughs> mouse traps have been put in the shoe <laughs> and landmines in some cases. Oh my in which they had to <laughs> Rotten get potato. Kid, a yeah. rotten potato. At the moment, we're going to get away with it for another year with Mia. We might do a stocking for her. But next year, I think we're going to have to do it because. No, we're not doing it. They'll show up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What, the, what are you talking we, about? We, we allow what? the Eula lads. We, we you, help is there her something we need to have to a talk about? A shoe in the window so that the Eula lads come. I thought every we had morning. cleared this up. I thought we had cleared this up. <laughs> We're going to close the window because they're just criminals. <laughs> they're delinquents. We're not and also, I'm a foreigner, so, so we don't baby. bother with this. <laughs> we? What are you talking about? You don't believe in them? Babe. They are real. <laughs> so I basically just spent the last, I don't know, four hours catching up on work, which I thought for some reason that I had finished. And Ingemar is now nagging me about timesheets and all sorts of things. I think I've just got a case of serious mum brain where I thought I'd done something and I just dreamt. <laughs> I'd finished it and sent it off to the client and hadn't so I ended up doing that this morning and now I'm going to package up a couple of orders that I've got in write the Christmas card that I'm going to be sending with them because at the moment for the rest of November and the whole of December any orders through the shop we're going to be sending a family Christmas card from Iceland Family Life along with those orders so there's a little extra bit of special Christmas spirit for you. Going to get those off to the post office and then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do after that. I was thinking about maybe putting the Christmas tree up. I got Ingmar to bring it up from the basement and we've got new lights so I'm going to try and put them on the tree and see what it looks like because last year I remember we had to buy an extra set of lights because there wasn't enough light in my opinion and so two sets of lights on the tree was just a, a bit of a mess. Currently it is 
but half past quarter past half past two um so i've got about an hour before i need to go for mia which is not enough time to put orders together and put together a christmas tree so let's see if we get that done this evening public service announcement for those of you who are british and do not live in the uk like me you will be aware of <laughs> all of the confusion <laughs> and things that are happening regarding brexit now the uk has already left the eu or is currently leaving the European Union and will exit on the 31st of December. At that point, and there are so many unknowns about how, how we sit within the situation, but personally I would advise you, and you can pause this video right now and go off and check, but I would advise you to check your passport and the expiry date of your passport. I've just checked and it's fine, I'm completely fine, I've got years left on my passport, not going anywhere anyway, but in the hopes that we can travel again soon, make sure that you have at least six months on your passport. Even if you're coming close to that, just apply for a new passport before rules and regulations change and things get more complicated. Just get it done now whilst we're still in the transition period. That's your little warning over. Yay, isn't it fun, Brexit? I never actually thought it would happen, but there we go, it's happening. Bye, darling. Bye, babe. I'm taking the biscuits so you stop oh. eating them. <laughs> oh, bye, See you later. Not sure if you can see, but there we go. We have one snotty little toddler back. Go, my little Christmas baby. Look at that beautiful Christmassy snowsuit. Go, Mia. Look at these Christmas lights as well. We just went to the post office, got mommy's orders in the post, and got some more envelopes. Now we're just going to see if the charity shop is open for a quick nosy. Because mummy's like grand these days, she can't walk past the charity shop, can she? <laughs> and then we're going to go and see Auntie Ella and Cousin Kiertan. Come on there, missus. First time I've fallen trap to Mia having a toy from, <laughs> from the shop. And we ended up just buying it on the way out. It was only 100 krona and it goes to a good cause. It was the Red Cross. But now we've got a little annoying shaking rattle from Frozen. Keeping her happy. I'm going to put the camera up here because the snow on the mountains right now is so beautiful with this dust light. It's gorgeous. So hopefully I can capture it as we drive down the motorway on the way to Auntie Ella's. Okay, we're just back home. We're frozen from being outside. Mia already wants to have the TV on. Ingmar is getting the dinner ready. And we're going to have some yummy tacos for dinner. Yummy. Nummy, nummy. Yay, dancing! <gasps> Whoa, so fast. Whoa, careful, careful. <laughs> yeah, Mia's favorite song is this Luffy Lai song that is on YouTube. <laughs> she knows the dance moves to it. I cannot wait until we can put you in little baby belly and gymnastics class, yeah. Look at those feet go. <laughs> Mia, show me your dancing. Woo, yay. Nom, nommy. Thank you, babe. And just like that, it's 7.30 and we're doing the bedtime routine. Brush, brush, brush. Boost a dinner. Brush, brush. Go, ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, ah. Uh. Not your lips, your teeth. Open wide. Let me see. Help. Yeah, let me see. Here's all of the books for tonight. And yes, Mia has the little Christmas tree. Doesn't it look so cute? I'm gonna put little fairy lights on and some decorations and check out this princess bed for now. I mean, it's got a bit of work to do and it kind of looks a bit crazy with all those toys in it. It's not very Pinterest right now. I'm gonna move the teddy bears and put them in a massive basket, put the flowers inside the netting so she can see them when she's lying in bed and have it properly laid out round there. And then move some of these teddy bears off of here and like the little baby toy now. And uh, yeah, that's her bed. A squash and a squeeze. <laughs> yeah, so 
we did with that sense of book. A little old lady lived all by herself, with a table and cheese and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard a grumble and growl. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a scotch and a squeeze. Take me a hen, said the wise old man. Take him a hen, what a curious plan. Well, the hen laid the neck on the fireside rock and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Take him your goat, said the wise old man. Take him my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nipple the, the table leg. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was teeny for Tiny. two, tiny for two, and it's teeny for three. <laughs> The hen pecks. pecks the goat and the goat got fleas. My house is a squish and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squish and a squeeze. <laughs> Taking your pick. Taking my pick, what a curious plan. So he took in her pickle, kept chasing the hen and rating the laughter again and again. The little old lady cried, Glory be! Stop! Stop! I implore! It was titsy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig. Even the pig and the larger agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a yep. squeeze. Yep. Take right. them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and all was with her hand. At last. <laughs> That's better. better at least I can sneeze again. No, you're not. <laughs> she shoot out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My what? house is beginning to feel pretty big. <coughs> Milk, juice. Hmm. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no, there's no need to grumble, there's no need to grunt, there's plenty of room in my house. My apologies to Julia Donerson, Donaldson for wrecking her lovely story. Night Mia. Night night. Okay, it's now 20 to 11, we definitely should get to bed and get some sleep because Mia will be up in 7 hours and ready to dance again. Mm -hmm. And guess what guys, I now have your cold. Hmm, thanks. Congratulations. Do you feel better? Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, but also to subscribe because I am so close to 4,000 subscribers, which would be amazing if we could do it before Vlogmas. That would be so awesome. I would absolutely love it. This year, everybody knows, is a ridiculous year, so let's make some little happy joy <laughs> subscribe to our channel and we will see you in another video soon bye can i go to bed now yes bye. say good night good night <laughs>